day for our Australian Championship teams. And after your dramas of yesterday, here's our winner of leg two. Fantastic job, Brendan Rees. What, what an effort. Yeah, we got in that car this morning, Nambucca, 48 k's. We'd hardly driven all day yesterday, so we had to turn it on and it worked well. The car was comfortable. We won all the forest stages. I think Scott's just got me on the super specials there, but that was just a quagmire and we were getting through with a bit of an oil leak now and the boys are going to fix that. But they've done a great job to get that car out there today with the problems we had yesterday and I was really happy with Rand and my pace today. Last year, leg two, Rally Australia was your very first sort of heat win or leg win in the Australian Championship. So you've done it again. Hopefully it uh, continues on up, upwards from here, mate. Yeah, it'd be nice to get another one tomorrow, but feels good, you know, the long stages really do suit me. I won them both last year, won them both this year. So that shows how good the car is with that endurance sort of level. And on the hard tyres, the Kumos work really well on the car. I think uh, the MSA suspension gets the grip really well through them. And the second pass, there was just nothing left of the tyres. And we we're really happy with that. It was really even wear, and it just shows we're getting everything out of it. Brendo's going well. He's um, he drove very well today, so uh, you know he's he's still a chance. We need to push on and, and try and find that extra extra stage win just for the extra point, and maybe put some pressure on him tomorrow and just you know continue to drive the same pace we have. And that's uh, obviously the overall in mind, but you want to try and get, clinch some heat points as well. Something about WRCs that just make it so hard. I don't know what's them in front, and I've been in your position as well, but the days are long, it's tough. You'll be getting up early tomorrow. It's a, it is really a big test and a big endurance event, isn't it? Yeah, well, they, they, I mean, it is an endurance event, and it really is uh, that word. You know, it's uh, it's long days, it's a long week. Um, the roads are very tough, and the, the roads change forever because the WRC cars just make new roads. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's fantastic, but it's a fantastic experience. You know, every, every Australian driver should aim to compete in one WRC. You know, to to, to uh, be competing even near the, the likes of the OGs and those sort of people is a fantastic experience. I thought at first we had a flat. I said, you know, we might have a flat, which is never a good thing in a 50k stage. But uh, it started to feel good. It came good again, and then it got worse. And it, you know, something I think with the well, the, the front left damper has blown out. Um, there's oil in the strut top and whatnot. So it was just a pig to turn right under brakes. I wanted to pull left. Like it was just all over the shop. So but we managed. We got through. We didn't lose too much time, but we didn't make any time. Um, and we got through this super special with it and the boys are throwing one in now. The car really has gone faultlessly all day. Michael's driven really well and I think his confidence is up because the car's going well, which, you know, just makes it all smooth. When the event's starting to get closer and closer, you're in second position, the nerves build up, you're listening to everything, you've got one leg to go. Every, your teams work so hard, everyone's hanging off this result, aren't they? Absolutely. Look, we haven't had a great 12 months, so to if we can get on the podium tomorrow afternoon, we'll be ecstatic. It'll be really, really good, so fingers yeah. crossed. And another good solid day. The result's beckoning there on the podium. How good that be for you and Bernie and the Repco team? A what? A podium? <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, look, mates, um, look, that'll be fantastic, but uh, we've got a long way to go at this point in time, so we'll just concentrate on getting the car ready again tonight and duck out there tomorrow. Got caught this morning, uh, yeah, sort of not doing what we normally do and, and sort of waiting to see what happens and all that sort of stuff. So tomorrow we're going to go back out and get back onto our plan, which is, you know, what we did in the afternoon loop and it all worked for us again as per usual, so it was good. Absolutely right. You've got to keep the concentration up, but come on, somewhere inside there. You'd be a little bit excited. Come on. Getting there, mate. Good Getting man, there. There's, a few, there's a few hours of sleep first and then there's a, about six or seven hours of driving, but uh, we're getting there. We saw you at the end of the long one, you had the off on the bridge, you lost some time there, and of course in the super stage, I spoke to you at the end of that, you lost the wheel, no idea why, running around on three wheels. Yep, exactly. I think they're probably related, because it was that, that wheel that was hooked up on the bridge, somewhere along the line it's probably bent something. Really lucky in, in that respect that it didn't happen on the stage before, or the first stage tomorrow when we were at you know, warp seven trying to make up time. So. You know, at least we're close to service. You've got to be optimistic. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing is, the boys are frantic because unlike our normal Super Series rules, you'd have two-hour service. This is WRC, you've got 45 minutes only, yeah. so the boys run to the pump. Oh, no, exactly. And there's a lot to do because there's a lot of, you know, end-of-day stuff, oil changes and things that normally have to be done anyway, and then you've got all this extra stuff to throw at it, and, you know, I've managed to knock a few bumper bars here and there, which take time. They don't look pretty, but they take time to do, so we'll get on to it.